They seem quite optimistic to me. Maybe they do want to fight. Confrontation might be a foregone conclusion, my lord. But nonetheless, I think we should deliver the King's terms. King's terms? They'll never live up to them. <laughs> my lord, I think... All right. Offer them the terms. They're coming out. Should we go and meet them? Let me do the talking. Agreed. Agreed. Aye. <laughs> Fine speech. Now what do we do? Just be yourselves. Where are you going? I'm going to pick a fight. <laughs> Here are the king's terms. Lead this army off the field. And he will give you each estates in Yorkshire, including hereditary title, from which you will pay from which you will pay him an annual duty. I have an offer for you. Jeltham, this is William Wallace. From which you will pay the king an annual duty. I said I have an offer for you. You disrespect a banner of truce. From his king? Absolutely. Here are Scotland's terms. Lower your flags and march straight back to England, stopping at every home you pass by to beg forgiveness for a hundred years of theft, rape, and murder. Do that, and your men shall live. Do it not, and every one of you will die today. <laughs> you are outmatched. <laughs> you have no heavy cavalry. In two centuries, no army has won with it. I'm not finished! Before we let you leave, your commander must cross that field, present himself before this army, put his head between his legs, and kiss his own arse. <laughs> I'd say that was rather less cordial than he was used to. You'd be ready and do exactly as I say. On my signal, ride round behind our position and flank them. We must not divide our forces. Do it. And let the English see you do it. They'll think we run away. Take out their archers. I'll meet you in the middle. Right. Come on. <laughs> this insolent bastard. I want this Wallace's heart on a plate. Archers! All right. España vota Vox.